Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the uh, directives and uh, host binding and all those things, right? Now in this video, we will see how we can pass the data to the directive. Okay. Right now, here in this video, uh, in this in this code, in this directive, we are giving red, yellow, and these things. We are giving it as uh, what we can say fixed things only. For example, if I go here and if I see all the time it will be red and yellow only so if the user wants to define his own colors how he can define the colors okay so we will see so sending passing data to the directive so passing data to the directive is something like how we can pass the data to the component so like that only we can pass the data so for example if you come here and if you see so i can write input so i want to get an input data right so i can use the input and I can use the name default color okay of type string and I can use the default color will be the red okay so default if the user doesn't use anything I am make, making it as a default color now input so highlight color so which one I need to make the highlight highlight color so when the mouse is hovered there so what is the color I need to highlight so I am giving it as yellow if he doesn't mention anything so he, here it will be the like this now if the mouse is entered i need to update it with the highlight color this dot highlight color so if the mouse is if the mouse is uh, is gone so now i need to get back to the default color okay so this is how we can send we can send the data as same as the components how we can, how we saw the input data right so same like this only we can send the data for the directives also now here so here what we can see is for this one we can directly pass this one default color okay with the property binding and you can use so blue default color will be blue and the highlight color so as this one is a string so i will need to double quotes and i need to use the single quotes so here default color will be orange or something like this okay so default color and highlight color i am mentioning now if i want to refresh this one if I hover here it became orange if I see orange and blue orange and blue so this is how we can send the data to the directives and now you will get it out doubt that uh, if our ng class and all those things so we are sending for the directive itself we are sending the data so how we can use that one it simply what we can do is if we have only one data sending if we have, if we have only the one input data we are sending means just you can use this name this name itself as the alias okay you can use the same name as itself as an alias so that what, what will happen here the default color will go away and here the blue you should be mentioning here in the square bracket for this one this will behave both as a directive and also as the so i can mention like this blue so it will take the value okay so this is how also we can send the data now if i refresh it this one now the same thing happens so here blue color now so first if I, I want to uh, how I, I want to make it this one default as a blue color means so default color I need to mention when, when it is not hovered means how we can do is on ng init we can go here and we can say this dot color is equal to this dot default color I can assign directly like this so at the first time when loading so the color will the color of the background color of the div will be default color then after this so now if I refresh this one so see now it is background color is blue now if i hover it will convert orange and it like this it will be okay so this is how we can send the data to the directive in the angular so if you see here we can send for the directive itself we can send the data by using the alias and also you can use like this and also one thing you need to remember that so here we are sending a string if it is a variable means you will be writing square bracket this is not a variable so it is a string so you can remove this highlight color square brackets like this and also you can send it like this. so now it will take it as an orange now if i refresh this one same uh, no errors nothing so you'll be getting the same output orange and blue okay so you need to remember this one so this is how we can will be sending the data to the directive in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you